Hello everybody, this is John with NAPCO Technical Support. In this brief video tech tip, I'm going to be discussing how to update the operating system and the firmware on your brand new IBR Touch tablets. This goes for the IBR Touch and the IBR Touch-WL, uh, the wireless model. Uh, so here you are going to need a USB flash drive, which will have to get inputted into the right side of the tablet. And first we need to go to our technical support site at tech.napcosecurity.com. And you go to software downloads and click on Napco. And you can see here uh, the latest update, which was from December 6, 2019, is a update to up update the operating system and the applications. So if you click on here, and as you see, this adds support uh, for garage door control for Z-Wave. Uh, it's going to be compatible with the iSecure keypads, uh, has a new deep sleep uh, keep alive feature, and also supports uh, the iBridge video doorbell integration. Uh, so you can now see your video uh, through the video icon. Uh, so you will download uh, this file here, which I already did, and this will actually save it to your downloads folder. So if you navigate to your downloads folder, we should see the zip file here, which is update.zip. Okay. And basically what you need to do is copy and paste this file into a flash drive. So I'm right clicking, going to copy. Okay, I'm going to insert my USB drive. Computer. Okay. All right, and then you just right click and paste it into your USB drive. And this has to be on the root directory. So it can't be pasted into another folder, it has to be right into the, the main root directory. Okay, so we're gonna simply unplug the USB and we're gonna plug it in here on the right side of the tablet. Okay. And if we do wait here for a couple moments, sometimes the operating system will actually be detected and it'll prompt us to install it. That's one method, but the other method is simply to press and hold the gear and you're gonna type in admin, press okay, and hit yes. And we're gonna select tablet and it says application and OS op updater. Okay, and then all the way at the bottom it says update Android OS via USB. So let's prompt that here. And it's prompting us now to insert the USB drive with the update.zip file. And as you see here, it just popped up. We're gonna hit cancel here so I can read this. That shows that the update.zip file needs to be in the root directory and then, and then press okay to retry this here. So again, it's very important. You know, you can't put that update.zip file into another folder or you can't unzip it and put that into the directory. It needs to be zipped. So we'll just retry the update. Okay, and now we'll press install. Okay, and the tablet is now rebooting. Okay, and there's our Android logo and has a progress up bar at the bottom indicating uh, the operating system is being updated and all the applications. Again, this is definitely a major uh, operating system and application update. It, again, it adds support for the garage door control uh, for Z-Wave. Uh, it adds a high secure keypad compatibility, uh, deep sleep keep alive feature uh, has also been added. And also the iBridge video doorbell integration support has also been added. Uh, so now if you press video, uh, you can also view your video doorbells via the tablets connection in your home or business.
Okay, the tablet is now rebooting. And as you see, it's actually optimizing each application that's on it. There's about 74 applications, so this could take a minute or two for it to update as well. And as you see, the total update time uh, for the whole operating system plus all the applications is about a, you know, a good three to four minutes uh, for the upgrade process to finish. So it's a pretty simple update and this is now prompting us to set up the date and time uh, which I already have it set which is fine okay and now you see the tablet has been upgraded and you do see a new icon uh, this is the garage door control for the z-wave and we can also verify the latest firmware by scrolling in the user settings to the bottom and as you see we are at 4.04.108 and saying successfully updated. Press OK to acknowledge. Hit cancel and you can remove the USB cable here. Okay. And that's it. The operating system and all the applications have been updated. Again, this video is how to update the operating system and applications for your IBR Touch and your IBR Touch-WL. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.